got so. anything new, I'll interrupt you, Matt, if it's sure. really important, okay? Okay, thank you, Steve. Yeah. Danger zone across parts of St. Charles and St. Louis counties. Let's head to the southern extent of this line. Miles per hour. All right. So that's no surprise. And, and you know what? The same thing's going to happen to you guys up in Alton, over in Madison County. They're going to end up extending that tornado warning over toward you. So we'll just sort of spend a little time redefining our tornado warnings. It's a tornado warning now in effect for basically Jefferson into southern St. Louis County and then into northwestern Monroe County. Up to ping pong ball size hail associated with that. It looks like a tornado very close to Dittmer, and that is moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. Per hour. So again, that's the southern flank of this line, right on the tail end. The right in here, right in here, is the area that we're talking about. That little notch that's showing up. So if you live in Cedar Hill, Burns Mill, High Ridge, Murphy, Antonia, Barnhart, Arnold, Oakville, Markdale, Otto, and Kimswick, that line is. And still two areas of rotation along what's a much broader storm that could be producing some strong straight line wind gusts yeah. between those two areas you of bet. rotation, Steve. Thanks, Matt. Nice job tracking. Appreciate it. And uh, I just want to kind of reset. We've had a lot of sirens going off all across uh, St. Louis County, St. Charles County. I want to let you know what's going on. So I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton alongside meteorologist Matt Chambers. We have two tornado warnings, also a severe thunderstorm warning in between. The reason is it's a squall line that has, show you the big picture, time this out into Bush Stadium. My uh, producer. And they live west of the stadium. Now is not the time to get in your vehicle and drive home. You want to stay off of 70. You want to stay off of 64. You want to stay off of 44. This is a very fast move lining, fast moving line of storms. The video footage you're seeing on the right is of Eureka. Uh, sustained winds of 60 miles an hour. We do have the sirens going off in Eureka. Lots of uh, lightning. We're seeing multiple circulations pop up on the leading edge of this. And I believe we have Farrah Fazal with us on the phone and she's in St. Charles County. Farrah, are you with us? I am here. And in fact, actually, we passed St. Charles County. When we were passing St. Charles County, we saw this huge wall of rain, if you will. We almost couldn't see uh, in front of us, not even a foot in front of us. Uh, and, and I saw lots of cars pull over. People just, you know, couldn't see in front of them, so they pulled up. Gone a mile here. Um, it continued on storm gets into Bush Stadium from now and so while it's urgent it's not like it's hitting right now where it is hitting right now is up in um, just south of I-70 north of Highway 40 this thing has crept to the north Matt it has. and it looks like it's gonna cross uh, Harvester so it's hitting Harvester right now Highway 94 southern St. Charles County and this could end up, as it kind of creeps up a little bit to the north, could end up getting into um, St. Charles, the city. I'm going to loop this a little bit. You can go ahead and check the alarms. And sure. Um, this. Uh, perhaps in New Florence and in those areas. So that is where we are headed to check that out. Okay, we've got a picture coming in from Eureka, as a matter of fact. Uh, oh, wow. yeah, very dark clouds there. And I have some good word now from the National Weather Service office here in St. Louis. They're back. The folks are back in there, and they're, everything's up, generators on, all windows and roofs seem to be intact. So wow. certainly that is good there. They had to evacuate for just a bit. Um, very strong winds, very, very strong winds with this leading edge. And, Mike, I wanted you to take a look at this little hook, this little appendage down here in um, that's, Jefferson County. Yeah, that's the one that, well, that came out of Franklin County. It's the reason for the new warning, and that has been consistent ever yep, since it got into the, notch. actually, the extreme western portion of Franklin County, and, and you're looking at that sheer Cindy is circulating that for you. That is actually, I'm surprised we're not getting more reports of anything with that, but either way, in this long line of severe thunderstorms with the with the uh, attending tornado warnings. That's the strongest portion of the line. Let's go to the other radar source and, and I'll show you a couple of things. First of all, as big as these storms are, they're getting even higher. We probably have echo tops now from the storm highway 270 a little bit. These are probably reaching heights of 52 or 52. 
the airport. This thing, if it, if it goes a little northeast, it could maybe just clip St. Charles City in about seven minutes. If it goes more due east, you're talking about hitting the airport in 12 minutes. So this thing in the next 10 minutes could be producing some damage in uh, right around the Missouri River. Southern St. is one of the data warnings we're tracking. You see on the left-hand side of your picture, in Missouri. Also, everybody, I mean, just so many comments about lightning, Dave, and we had a report yesterday, actually, uh, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal talked about being safe if you happen to be caught outdoors with lightning. And another thing that he said, a vehicle trying to get home to get to a safe spot, your vehicle is at 50 miles per hour. That's a confirmed tornado now near Weldon Spring. And that so, would be a reliable port, report from the guys at the National Weather Service. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to turn on the storm reports and see if we can if, if toggle through some, some of the other things that we're getting. There, there are a number of, um, well, there's a brand new storm report from what just, Cindy just mentioned. But here we had, um, we had this report come in to us well, of a possible funnel cloud two-thirds of the way down uh, one mile west of St. Clair. And that was at 742. Then that came to us. These are, these are the reports that the Weather Service shares with us. Uh, obviously, they've had a long night, and they continue to feed us a lot of great information. But just wanted to re-emphasize that Amateur Spotter did report debris in the air at Dingledine and Towers Road, very close to the this, rotating parts this of This is store. a very strong signature, Matt, I, and that's why I kind of changed my tone. I said, anyone in Harvester, I need you in the basement. Harvester over to Earth City. We're going to watch St. Charles City. It may skirt just south of you, or it may head over to uh, the airport. We've got to watch this one closely. So I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton here in the Foreign Storm Center. Meteorologist Matt Chambers at my side doing a great job. And you just jump in if you have something important to tell me. But I want to let you know the big setup here. On the uh, right-hand side of your screen is the radar with the warnings overlaid. The yellow box is a severe thunderstorm warning. Anywhere along the leading edge of a line I'm about to highlight, we can get some strong damaging winds. But especially two areas we need to focus on for a tornado warning. One is on the southern flank here in northwestern Jefferson County. Another is in Harvester where I just mentioned. I'm highlighting that. So and, uh, both circulations look awfully strong and something that we need. Kind of, um, it, it looks like they've all kind of drawn together into one huge cloud. And um, on one side of where we are, there, it's like all black. And then there's kind of like some space. And then there's blackness on the other uh, side. So pretty much everybody is just kind of... Uh, taking cover at this point. Well, they just expanded the tornado warning now, right. and it's just exactly what we've been saying, Cindy, that areas east... Um, it's a large, uh, confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near St. Charles and moving east at 50 miles per hour. Okay, if you live in St. Charles, this is where you need to be. Basement, lowest interior room of your home. Stay away from windows, stay away from exterior walls. This is now in the St. Charles area, and this is a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado, and it's moving east at 50 miles per hour. Well, there's the circulation that uh, we couldn't see so well because the storm was going right over the top of the National Weather Service radar, but there it is. So that's tornado warning. And give us that language again, Cindy. That is very... County. Now we're talking Illinois, Western Madison County in Illinois, Northeastern St. Charles County, Northeastern St. Louis County, and Northern St. Louis City. This is a tornado warning until 8.45 p.m. Western Madison, Northeastern St. Charles, Northeastern St. Louis City. Tornado warning for you until 8.45 p.m. To be, you need to be underground, you need to be in the basement. If you do not have a basement, you've got to go to a lowest interior room away from windows and away from those exterior walls. Well, there is, uh, there is 
is what we're looking at on Cindy's radar. Let's come back to my radar, and here is where we have really the best possibility of a large confirmed tornado on the ground. Now that is language we haven't heard since uh, the Good Friday tornado of 2011. Now, this is not language that the National Weather Service sends when it sends us these warnings and uses very lightly. So not only that, but since the thing rolled right over the top of their office, they had a pretty good view of this. So this is where the circulation is. It's right here. So anybody in St. Charles County should be seeking shelter immediately. St. Louis County should be seeking shelter. Highway 364, Highway 141, it's on its way to debris. And so that may be the debris signature that they were talking about. Loop it for me. We'll see if it's a little stronger when it was over Harvester. I'll get out of the way on the other side of the screen for you. And uh, it came through Harvester. And bottom line is what this means. Man, look at that thing accelerate. It is cruising. That's why it's up to 50 miles per hour now. Um, right there, moving into Earth City. This is very near St. Charles. Okay, let's stop the loop. And let's zoom in to that St. Charles Earth City area and look look how quickly it advanced. That's the new radar image and it just jumped. It is in St. Charles City right now. If you're in St. Charles Earth City over to Bridgeton, uh, this is Highway 370 uh, headed over to the mills right here where the blues practice. We need you inside, away from windows, down in the basement. The lowest level located right here. This would be a tornado debris signature where you've uh in this area that was under a tornado warning as well. And again, we're talking about St. Louis Lambert Airport, Mike. Yeah, they have bad memories of Good Friday there. You know, the signature that you're looking at, Cindy, let's stay with Cindy's radar. And that is really an impressive signature we've been watching since it actually made.